optimism to be able to move forward without worrying about funding. Right now, I feel confident, but. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, and welcome to another episode of My Broadcast Kitchen Quarantine Edition. I'm your host, Sam Green. Tonight, we're making something banging. Banging, banging, banging for y'all. Banging. Grilled cheese steak sandwiches. Yes. Grilled cheese steak sandwiches. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. That beautiful car, all detailed and ready to take on the road. But, uh, can't drive it because the cops are crazy right now, but look at her. At least she's clean. What you'll need for today's recipe. We're going with London broil. You're going to need some peppers, an onion, some chopped garlic, sugar, black pepper, salt, onion powder, garlic powder, mayo, ketchup, preferably Land O'Lakes yellow American cheese, Sliced Italian bread, because I forgot to get real Italian bread. And butter. First, chop the onion. Ta-da! Then we're going to wash and chop some sweet peppers. Ta-da! Then we're going to slice down about a pound and a quarter of London broil. Ta-da! My damn camera didn't start before. <laughs> So you missed the uh, melting of the butter and the garlic. So what we got in this frying pan, we have our chopped onion, we have our chopped pepper, we have a dollop of garlic, half a stick of butter, and about three or four tablespoons of sugar in there. Now, with a good cheesesteak sandwich, what you want to do is you want to cook the shit out of your peppers and onions. You want them to be super, super caramelly. You want to let all that sugar melt down with the butter. And we always season the veggies that go on a cheesesteak. I think it just makes it taste a hell of a lot better. So we're going to do a little bit of garlic powder. We're going to do a little bit of onion powder. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. And the sugar I already added. I don't want to go crazy with the sugar. You always want to season the veggies. Because the meat's going to soak up all that nice juice you're making right here with all the veggies and the butter. Yeah, sorry my camera didn't start and I didn't get to show you me throwing stuff in the hot pan. But that is what it is. I'm not going to go back and recut everything just for the sake of show because... We don't waste in my broke ass kitchen. Or we don't. So now we're just gonna wait, let that cook down a little bit. This cooked down. So we're gonna get a nice caramelly, buttery goodness to it. We're gonna wanna throw in our steak now, our London broil. That we slice down and we're just gonna spread it out evenly and let it sit right on top of those veggies then we're gonna come over and we're just gonna cover it The meat is cooked, all the veggies are cooked. Got a nice, sweet, and salty, garlicky glaze on that meat. This is normally where I would take it and I would put the cheese all on top, get it all nice and melty and cheesy and juicy, and I would lay it on a really nice piece of Italian bread. But we don't have Italian bread today, so we're making grilled cheese steaks. So this is where I'm going to pull the meat off, let it rest for a little bit, and we'll get to grilling our cheese steaks. Now with any sandwich I grill, whether it be grilled cheese or these grilled cheese steaks, 
instead of using butter for the bread I always use mayo I think mayo just makes it delicious I don't know not too many people use mayo for grilled cheese and stuff but I do it's worth a shot at home everyone that I've introduced this to said wow that's incredible so anyway what we're gonna do we're gonna mayo our bread drop it in a nice frying pan needs to heat up just a little bit but we're gonna take some of our meat and veggies here we will put it right on that bread there mm. delicious okay we want this nice and cheesy so I'm gonna go with like we're gonna go with like let's go four slices of cheese let's not fuck around yo Alright, whatever. Three and a half it is. We're just gonna let that grill up. Take it, open it up, a little ketchup, cover it back up. All right. Ooh, Lord. Nice. Nice, nice. Not as cheesy as I would like, but hey, fuck it. Not bad for broke ass kitchen, y'all. Wish I had some Italian bread, but yeah, that's why I need to start making shopping lists. All right, here we go. The broke ass kitchen, grilled cheese, cheese steak with sauteed peppers and onions, Land O'Lakes yellow American cheese, mayo, ketchup, London broil. Damn, that is delicious. Holy shit. Mmm. Land O'Lakes Yellow American Cheese makes it. That cheese is just outrageous. And if you can't get Yellow American, White American is equally delicious. The mayo on the grilled cheese. Mmm. Wow. Delicious. It would be better on like whole loaf of Italian bread with um, put it in the oven with the cheese get it all cheesy and stuff with the mayo and ketchup but sliced Italian bread did the job today hmm. damn this is the type of shit that'll make me my 600 pound life at the end of this hmm. well give it a shot folks Takes a little effort, but damn, I can't even chew it fast enough. It's so good. Whew. Mm, 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 mm. My friends, is my broke ass grilled cheese steak. Oh, Lord Jesus. Incredible. I had to lay down in my bed topless just to recover from that sandwich. Whoa. Jesus, criminy, delicious, delicious, delicious. So, anyways, if you all like what you saw, please thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. And if you subscribe, hit the notification bell down at the bottom of your screen. And you can get updates every time my broke ass decides to make delicious food for you. But until then... Until next time, I don't know what the next episode is going to be. It's probably going to be a dessert. I don't know. I'm not sure. But until then, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. You all are beautiful, beautiful creatures. Have a wonderful night, and I'll see you next time.